weekend's the Big 12 tournament. It's what we all been waiting for. Finally got here into the season. Um, this vlog will be kind of about our guys, our journey, you know, getting there, getting to Tulsa. I'm gonna let you check out the venue, everything like that. You're gonna get the full backstage pass to the Big 12. So check into the vlog and I'll make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you. So for those of you that didn't know, I just had a baby on February 1st and this will be her first trip on a plane. Um, this is the thing that comes with being a wrestling coach. Sometimes you gotta track her. As you can see, Coach Moore and I both brought our little kids and so this is all you gotta bring, it's a lot. Just arrived at the Hyatt Regency. Here's our king bedroom. Um, looking pretty nice. Let's see our view, ladies and gentlemen. What do we got outside? We're on the 10th floor. Oh my gosh, look at Oklahoma. Look at that. Oklahoma. So after check-in, we had 10 minutes down the road to Sand Spring High School to get our first workout in. Let's go. So we get about an hour workout in here at Sand Springs High School. Then we uh, send the guys back to the hotel and then I go pick up dinner for them. Let's get it. As far as catering food, this year Olive Garden is our go-to. It's just a great way to get some nutritious food into the guys that they can use for fuel. So um, you can see here, we just had to put out the platters for them and everybody gets to enjoy. So now it's the day before the big day. Now we're gonna go to Dilly's Diner and enjoy some breakfast with the staff and some of the wrestlers. Chaz. 57 with the just the toast and a egg white. Coach Campo with a giant stack Carbo of pancakes. Loading. Coach Morrill, what is that? Chicken fried Chicken steak? Fried okay, okay, that's good. That's that's legit. We're still waiting on ours. One eternity later. So after breakfast, we headed over to Circle Cinema which was made in 1928, which typically only plays independent, formant, and documentary films. But for us, they turned on Dune 2. Here's a quick little clip of us walking into the BOK Center for the first time. Check it out. After seeing an action-packed movie, we're now fired up and ready to go to our last practice before the next one. So, it's the night before, um, and I stole a little tradition from my head coach, Tim Fader, that we did in college, which was throwing up a, your worst match of the year and saving and talking about your best match of the year. Check it out. Check what the guys had to say. For that one, I just felt like, I mean, even though it was like short notice for me, once once I told myself, you know, like I'm gonna do it, I was like, I was all in. I was gonna do it no matter what happened. So it's kind of how I'm feeling right now too. Just, just all in. Like no matter how it goes, I'm just gonna keep, keep coming. So. This one's also kind of difficult, I guess. Best match. Yes. Hmm. Standards. I was thinking about standards. Was that a tournament? It was Max Gallagher. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was the Midlands quarters. Uh, um, I was super calm with the match, uh, and then I, I just had my offense off for it, and everything just felt clean. Um, and then I was I did what you should do on top, and got to my turns. Uh, I had some big mat returns, and yeah, tech the top 15 man. Good morning. Um, it's day one of Big 12s. Just about to head out the hotel. I'm official, you know what I mean? Oh, you know what I gotta do. About to pull up on them. But uh, about to bring a lot of energy today. I'm gonna show you the BOK Center. About to head over there, so see you soon.
high energy here. Let's get that first match out the way right now. Get that first match out the way. Good, climbing that leg. Good job, Chas. Good. Ooh, good finish, Hunter Lee. Passing that drag, Chris. Hitting that drag to the other side. Putting two moves together here. That sweat pouring. Get that sweat pouring. Boom. Oh, that was three attacks together. I love it, Pete. Oh, Pete feeling good today. Pete feeling good today. Go get him, Peter. Stutter fake. Stutter fake snap. Stutter fake go behind. Stutter fake attack. Mixing it up. Mixing it up. Stutter fake motion up for him. Don't knock each other out. Don't want nobody looking like Francis Ngannou, all right? Oh, <laughs> Too soon. Hey, we're here. We're stunned. Courageously going out there and executing your stuff. Having fun, dude. It's just another tournament. One match at a time. All the hard work's put in. Now we're just here. Now we're having fun. Let's get it, boys. Hey, dear God, thank you. Thank you for today. Thank you for this amazing opportunity. Thank you for bringing our families here. God, we're just praying for your help today. We pray that you give us supernatural strength. Pray that our shots are courageous and faster than ever. God, please help us. We're so grateful for all you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, come on. Let's, let's go, go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Three, one, two, three. Let's go. So that was day one. Um, just a recap, one of the hardest things to do is watch your seniors in their careers. Um, you know, for me, that's the most emotional part. And, you know, watch these guys put all the work in and effort in and just see them not reach their goals just really hurts. But the great thing about this day is that our future is bright. Um, we had two guys, two young guys, punch their way to the next day and a placing and being the first in our, our team's history to place at the Big 12 tournament. And so. You know, all in all, it was a good day. Um, we had some really questionable things um, happen in a, a couple of matches that would have guaranteed us a spot at 25, but um, we battled back and battled through that and still ended up, you know, having a good day and, and, taking, and making it to day two. So now to prepare for day two, just grabbing the food for the guys. Uh, we got two guys into day two, two guys looking to place. Uh, one guy in the Concy semis bracket and one guy going for seventh and eighth right away. Day two, Big 12s. Um, it's the athlete refueler. You get hooked up with some Gatorade, some waters and stuff like that. Little snacks over here. Um, I haven't checked out the coaching room, but day two, we're down to two guys. I'm um, heading to the locker room right now. The first guy up at 125. We're all chilling. I'm just on the side. Got the other two coaches in the corner of, of our 25 counter. Uh, he's starting off the match. This is a match for seventh and eighth place right now. The winner of this match is most likely going to get a good team match. Um, and for some reason, they start in the 33 count match right away, so we got another guy up. That's just another thing you do as a coach. You know, you just gotta bounce around and be ready. And so, we got a 33 pounder up right here. He's going for fifth, sixth place right now. Uh, this match, either guy, if either guy, you don't have to win or lose, it doesn't matter. You're in. Uh, they have six allocations at this weight. And so, this guy is our first national qualifier right here. So, we ended the day with a sixth place and an eighth place. Then we headed over. To a team social where we had some great Cajun food. After that, spent some time in the hotel. Had to go over some technique with my daughter because, you know, a little frustrated with the day, but still had to teach her a couple things, you know, get her ready for her run in a few years. Get above the knee. Above the knee right there. You see that? Above the knee. You take the 201, right? Take it off. Take it off. Keep your head in. Keep your head in. Right? You're supposed to fight the head. You gotta fight the top head. No. Fight the top hand. What? No, what? Okay, fight it. Boom, I come off, back to the double. Boom, you take it down in here. You drag this side. You drag the other side. You don't know where I'm coming from. Bop, bop, bop. Four attack, four attack, shoulder tap, four attack, four attack, shoulder tap, four attack, four attack, four attack, black double. Done. You're cooked. You're cooked. And you're already on the back. You know what I mean? Like, your talent level is not that high yet. And we're done for it. We're done And then we get into the best part of the day. Even though we had no guys in the finals, uh, it was a great experience. Um, I love the finals of the Big 12 tournament. They do a great job. Uh, really cool walkouts, really cool setups, and things like that. 
And I just love heckling the crowd. I ain't got no dogs in the fight, so you know I'm calling stalling. I'm doing all type of crazy stuff in the crowd. Love it. And today we say goodbye to Tulsa.